world, there aren't a lot of uh, vegan options in the market. And um, we are specialized in doing gluten-free, vegan, basically healthier products. And um, we believe in um, the uh, sustainability concept. So that's why um, last year we rolled out a conscious living um, campaign that we wanted to push um, uh, vegan concept food in the market. So um, because of that, that's why we decided to do a gluten-free, vegan and refined sugar-free mooncake this year. When it comes to baking, um, well, there are many things we can do to make uh, a baked product much healthier. Uh, when I first started this brand, you know, I did a lot of research. Um, there are many things that can be replaced, for example, um, eggs. We can use chia seed and then for white sugar, we can use maple syrup or raw honey um, or even organic sugar. All of these will have a much better nutrition profile compared to um, white sugar. This is uh, gluten-free and it's also vegan. Traditional mooncakes, they use a lot of lard and also um, refined sugar. Um, we believe that it's very unhealthy uh, and also it's full of cholesterol. But for our mooncakes, it's raw. We don't need to bake them. Um, so, and also all the ingredients in there, it's natural. We don't put any preservatives in there. Um, that's why the overall nutrition uh, is much better than traditional mooncakes. We use a lot of nuts and dried fruits. Um, the dried fruits is basically as kind of like an, a binding agent to um, bind all the uh, nuts together. Um, we didn't use eggs and we didn't use refined sugar. So for the sugar part, we used maple syrup instead. It's not a refined sugar, so it's much healthier compared to white sugar. For the egg part, we didn't really um, put in eggs because um, we're not really doing traditional uh, mooncakes. So the skin, we basically just used um, almond flour, uh, maple syrup, and also another kind of super food powder for the color. Um, basically, we have two batches to prepare. Um, it will be the, the dough, which is for the skin, and also the filling. So for the filling, it's relatively simple. We just have to basically blend everything um, so then it will be like become like bits and pieces and then we roll them into a ball and that would be the filling. And then for um, the, the dough, we just uh, mix all the ingredients and then when you see the color is right, then you know, we weigh them and then um, take out each ball and then roll them into like a flat sheet. And we, we wrap the filling with the dough and then we just put it in the mold and then press it and that's it.